Rebecca, welcome to Dateline Delta, and thank you so much for inviting me into the classroom. I'm wondering if you could tell us about the Surgical Technology Program here at Delta College and what its goals are. Sure. The Surgical Technology Program provides classroom and clinical instruction to prepare the students to work as entry-level surgical technologists in the operating room. We also prepare them to sit for our national certifying exam. And, and you talked a little bit about teaching them to uh, be in the operating room. Can you tell me what, jo what the job uh, is like? Sure. Um, our students, once they um, graduate, they are prepared to work directly in the operating room assisting the surgeon during surgical procedures. They are also um, prepared to work in ambulatory surgery centers as well as doctor's offices. Um, they could work as a private scrub for a surgeon or they could uh, work in sterile processing as well. And, and you talked a little bit about teaching them to uh, be in the operating room. Can you tell me what, jo what the job uh, is like? Our students, once they um, graduate, they are prepared to work directly in the operating room assisting the surgeon during surgical procedures. They are also um, prepared to work in ambulatory surgery centers as well as doctor's offices. Um, they could work as a private scrub for a surgeon or they could uh, work in sterile processing as well. And if students wanted to go on and get their four-year degree, what might they go into? Well, it depends. Some students go on to become PAs, or they might want to go on to become surgeons. So then they want to take a bachelor's program geared towards science. Others, they might want to go into management, so we, um, something like health service administration. And can you tell me a little bit about your background and how you got into it? Um, well, I started out at Baker. I was going to work in uh, medical records. And um, I found that kind of boring, so my AMP instructor actually suggested I try surgical technology. And um, once I checked into it, it was, um, I found it really interesting. And is there anything else that you would like to tell us about the surgical technology program here at Delta? Well, we're really excited about the new um, lab that we have here. Um, we have the, the ability to do laparoscopic procedures. And of course, that is the way um, in the operating room that everything's going, um, minimally invasive, as well as robotic surgery. And this program, we're able to offer that to the students so they get hands-on training in minimally invasive surgical procedures here, and then we take them to the hospital and they actually get to see the robot and play at the controls in that. And I'm wondering perhaps if you might uh, get some students and we could work on that together? That sounds great. We're here in the lab. This is where we learn hands-on. It's a return demonstration. So the students, we show them how to uh, prepare for surgery, and then they get to practice it here and apply those skills before they get to the operating room. Great. So one of the first things that we do is um, drape our mail stand because that gives us an extra sterile surface. So Jamie here is going to show you how that, um, to do that. This is going to be our cover. We're just going to open it up. You want the hands towards us, and we just kind of follow the diagram. You always want to cup your hands so that way you you're always sterile. Okay. Because if you contaminate yourself, then you start contaminating everything else. That's okay. good for the patient. And okay. And opening here. We're just going to place it over the stand like this. Put our foot down on the leg to hold that in place. So once your mayo stand is draped, the next thing you're going to do is you set up a workstation. And the workstation goes at the corner of your back table. And that's where all your miscellaneous supplies go. Okay. So would you like to show Leanne how to do that? You use the blue towels again just for reinforcement and you just kind of do an L shape and it just gives you more space for clip. And this is kind of a universal thing. All of our sharps go in the left hand corner so if someone else were to come in the room they would know where to look for those sharps. That okay. way no one ever gets cut. Okay. So one of the first uh, procedures that we learn is a breast biopsy. So this, the patient here is set up for one and draped for a breast biopsy. The instrumentation in the male stand is set up for a breast biopsy. Okay. And we're going to learn to go through the procedures and that way the students learn to anticipate for, um, during the surgical procedure. So I'm the surgeon in this example. You sure certainly Oh my be. goodness. Okay, here we go. So the first thing we're going to do is make an incision. Okay. So just like on TV, you can ask for a scalpel. Scalpel? And then how would I have my hand? You're gonna, just like a pencil. Okay. So now you can come up here and you can make an incision. And I cut away. Is that how I do it? Sure. Yep. So you can see our blades are very sharp. 
Okay. So now you're going to set that back on the mail stand. Okay. And I would set it there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And pickups. You can ask for pickups. And the important thing about learning to um, accept instruments and pass instruments is that they're ready to use. So you can see how Jamie put those right in your fingers and you're ready to use them the correct way. So okay. now, may I have some pickups as well, please? There you go. So we, this here is our incision, so you can go ahead and grab the skin. Now, you made a skin incision, but you can see here we still have some layers of tissue that we need to cut through. Okay. So what would you want to ask for? Uh, the scalpel again? Correct. And Jamie's going to give you the deep knife because we never use the same blade on skin as we do in deep tissue. Okay. So again, have your fingers ready to accept the knife. There you go. And you can make a deeper incision. So we do allow the students to play all the roles in the operating room. That way they're actually um, a better team member. They know what everyone's role is and how okay. to anticipate a little bit better. Rebecca, Jamie, thank you so much for having me in today and learn, learning more about surgical technology. I had a great time. Thanks for coming.